Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to import non-player libraries in Contact 7. So it is very easy and simple to get the non-player libraries for your Contact 7. With the help of it, you can create music that could be wonderful. So if you are new to Contact 7, I tell you that Contact 7 is a powerful software for making music on computer. It helps musicians create, edit and play all sorts of music. With Contact 7, you can use virtual instruments to make music without needing the real ones. And this is great because it saves money and space. Plus Contact 7 comes with a lot of instruments already built in like pianos, drums, guitars and more. And you can always get the free ones from internet. These instruments sounds very realistic, almost like the real thing. You can also find many additional instruments online to expand your collection. Whether you are a beginner or a pro musician, Contact 7 can be super useful for making all sorts of music from pop music to film scores. So to get its non-player libraries, you have to go to the browser. Here I am using Google Chrome, but you can choose any browser of your choice. Once you're on the browser, you just have to simply search for Project Sam. Or if you already know a platform from where you can get the non-player libraries, you can also get to this one. But I know Project Sam works really well and it has a number of available instruments that you can get. Here I am getting its orchestral. Once you get there, you have to click on Shop Now and it will take you to this page. Now it has two different orchestra. You can choose any one of them, whatever you prefer. The first one is two and the second one is the basic one. So you can get any one of these. And after that, you have to click on this option. But before you have to get agreed to their terms and condition. And once you click onto it, you will get up here. Now first it will ask you to install the native access. So you can get it according to your operating system. There are three options available. I'm using Windows. Therefore, I'm getting the Windows one. After that, you have to install it and then you have to get the Contact 7 player from the native access and then you have to get this code. This is a serial number. You just have to simply copy this one later on. We'll show you how you can use it. So once you copy it and now you just have to simply go and open the native access. Once you get there and open the native access, on the left side, you can see we have this option which says add serial. It also has a plus icon with it. You just have to simply click onto it. And after that, you just have to simply paste that code that we just copied. So just simply do copy and paste up here and click onto this option. Now it is registering you towards this library and here it will just take a while. And once you're done, you have to click on OK. Now you just have to simply close the native access and reopen it. Once you reopen the native access, on the left side, you will see a new tab which is called new. And there you will see that library that you just have imported. Now you just have to simply install this one and this installation will take around 2 to 3 minutes. Once this installation is done, you have to open contact 7 again. And if it's already open, then you have to close and reopen it so that you can get the non-player library in contact 7. And here you can see in contact 7, we have this non-player library that we just imported from the internet. Likewise, you can choose any kind of non-player library of your choice and you will get in into your contact 7. Now, once you have it, you can start creating music with the help of that non-player libraries and you can also use it for your any purpose. So the process is same. You first have to simply download the native access. Once you have downloaded it, install it and after that, you have to get contact 7 from it. Once you have it, you have to go to the browser and search for project Sam. Or if you used any of the platforms before, you can also get there. Once you get there, you will see a code there. You have to copy that code of that instrument or that library. You have to get back to native access and add it into add serial. And after that, it will register yourself with that library. And after that, you have to install it. Once you install it, you will find that library in your contact 7. Here, I imported the orchestra to but you can get the plain orchestra or if you have any other libraries that you want to get you just have to simply search for it once you find you can just simply get them in your contact 7 so some of these platforms have free instruments or libraries and some of them have paid ones if you're willing to purchase then you can get the paid ones but if you want to get the free ones there are multiple platforms available you just have to simply get them from there 
I know there's another platform which is called DistroKid. You can also get it from there. But Project Sam is the one that has the best libraries. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. In case if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates. Also press the bell icon button so whenever a new video gets posted you get notified regarding it. If you have any queries feel free to ask in the comment section below. Also remember to leave a like and comment and thank you so much for watching the video.